Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, some of my regular viewers might recall about six or eight months ago, um, I did a video on building a wine rack very similar to this right here. And that worked out really good if you're going to have a nice little wine rack you want to put on your countertop. Uh, it holds eight bottles of wine. It's a pretty cool little rack. Uh, but this actually is a prototype for a client of mine who is looking uh, to do a whole bunch of these racks on a bigger scale. And he finally agreed that he wants to move forward on this project. What it is, it's five of these racks that are six foot six tall. Each rack holds 18 bottles of wine. That's a total of 90 bottles of wine on five racks. They're going to be mounted to a wall that is recessed in his house and they're going to be backlit with some LED lighting. Now, I've already made four of these racks. I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you what it takes to make a really nice wine rack. Let's get started on today's video. All right, so this is actually just another project that I've teamed up with, with uh, built by Newkirk. Uh, he's a design builder, and this is uh, one of his designs. I've done a couple of projects with him now, and uh, he's got some really amazing designs. And yeah, these are just... Uh, Really fun projects to do, and I, I really enjoy them. Uh, this is just some half-inch solid bar stock is what I'm using right here, and I'm just cutting them to length and uh, getting those cut along with the shorter uh, shorter pieces for the end. And uh, it was a, ended up being a lot of cuts, but uh, you know what? Got it all done. I took them over to the Burr King and softened them up a little bit. You know, I need to uh, deburr these. I just rounded the edges on both sides because I'll be assembling these in a jig here, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. And I wanted to have the nice smooth ends. This is what I'm talking about right here. Um, working off the, the welding table with the fixture clamps. And this is a, a good way to go right here for me. I've created a simple little jig. I had 90 of these squares to make, and... Uh, just uh, with the welding table and the fixture clamps uh, is just amazing and makes production that much more faster. Um, you know, if you're a fabricator and you're doing a lot of fabricating and, and uh, production work like this, you know, having a fixture table and the capability of using clamps like this and, and uh, fixturing uh, stuff really works well. I had a lot of these things to do right here, 90 of them to be exact, and... Uh, um, you can see that I'm welding just to the inside corners, and that's the idea here. We did not want any visible welds. We wanted to have everything uh, to the inside so you really wouldn't see them. And on the outside, uh, there would be no uh, welds that would be seen. We just uh, That was the look that uh, uh, he was looking for here. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of these things to get done, but I eventually got them done. So the next step was to go ahead and start assembling it. Now I've made another jig here on the welding table and this is uh, to assemble the, the wine rack themselves. Now their spacing is about four inches apart right here. So I'm using a three by three post. It's actually, uh, I should say it's a, it's a four by four post that the actual dimensions are three and a half by three and a half. I've added a half inch piece of ply to the one side to get the, the four inches. You can see that I'm off-centering, uh, staggering them, I should say, by four inches. Uh, you know, that's the, that's the look that we were looking for. We wanted to have these bottles to be offset. And again, just uh, uh, strategically putting these wells in the back of this uh, three-inch flat bar, uh, flat plate on the very back. Uh, so when the, when the bottles are on there that you won't see any welds again. All right, so I got them all welded on here. And... Uh, then the next thing to do is to go ahead and put the mounting bracket in, on the very back. Now this is a piece of 5 inch square tube and this is what uh, is going to be used for um, running the LED lights on the back side. And I'm just now putting these tabs on. I've cut these out of my plasma table. And these, are, uh, these tabs are what we're going to use to mount it to the wall and, and hang these racks off the wall. Uh, you won't see the 5H tube. It'll be to the back side, and, uh, but we've got it offset, like I said, 5H, so we can get the LED lighting in there. And uh, again, nothing is going to be seen. Everything is going to be hidden. 
All right, so it's time to get that put on the very back side there, and I've just flipped the rack over and clamped everything down and tacked everything to the back side, and uh, this rack is just about complete. The only thing I got to do is trim off the very end. You'll see right there. I didn't quite get this on camera. Uh, I guess I got carried away and uh, didn't move the camera over uh, for that shot, but it's just a matter of just cutting off that uh, piece of plate in the very top. All right, so once I got that done, there it is, complete. There's a shot of what it looks like uh, before it, um, before we took it over and installed it. Here's a couple of shots of the installation. Now, the owner does not have any wine on the racks, unfortunately, but hopefully you guys get the idea. You can see the LED lighting on the backside. Um, it uh, was a nice project. turned out really good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the website, jimbosgarage.com. Got some porch lead holders over there, some shirts and some hats. Follow me on Instagram, check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching. You guys.